Well, hello everyone. Oh, I know it's been a second. It's been a minute. I've been struggling over here. Okay, like we're not gonna get into it in this video. Let's just say that. But I hope you guys have been well and we have so many new perfumes to talk about. It's kind of insane. There's like so many new fun things coming out and I thought we could just talk about them, get excited. Let me know what you're interested in, into what you've tried. Some of this might be out, but I really wanna talk about a lot of the new stuff that's like about to launch. I feel like my lip gloss is like gloopy. So if my lips are acting weird, that's why. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, one of the ones I'm so excited to start this video off with is from Fleur. This is going to be new. It's called Strawberry Letter. Okay, this is gonna be launching, I wanna say February 6th. I saw that somewhere. Fleur's been killing it in terms of like just launching so much. If you guys didn't know, they did a whole rebrand. So like these bottles and all that, they used to just have like three cents, I wanna say. I don't know, it was more minimal, but they rebranded, came back with a vengeance is what it feels like because they are launching new perfumes left and right. Some of the notes in here, Strawberry Garaget, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why are we starting off with something I can't pronounce? Well, you know the whole video is gonna be plagued with it. What the heck? There's plum nectar. There's lots of fruity notes. Apple blossom, red poppy. That's a floral. Both of those are florals, actually. There are some earthy woods, tonka bean, sugared amber in the base, some cassis leaves. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like a fruity floral, but I'm hoping it's a little bit more than that. The bottle, the name, all that is selling me. So I'm very excited to try this fragrance, even though I would say, you know, overall, fruity perfumes don't always get me, but the note of strawberry specifically has me intrigued on this one love the bottle simple but you know it gets across what it needs to get across so I think it's perfect in time for Valentine's Day that type of thing so very very excited to smell that I know mood ring has been very very popular I'd love to know your thoughts on it I'm gonna save mine because I am planning to do like a new at Sephora kind of guide or just like letting you know my thoughts on some of the newest perfumes that have been launched there and all that so I have that video kind of in the works but I want to know your thoughts on mood ring because it's another kind of fruity scent that they just launched I want to say like in December or so okay continuing on with like kind of fun sneak peek launches type of thing this is from Sol de Janeiro and it's a sneak peek of a fragrance we haven't seen it yet this one is called Karoka Crush I want to say and I'm very very excited I don't know if this is real or not like I haven't seen anything but this random photo on the internet so I don't know I'm hoping this is real and that we're gonna get this at some point it's red so I'm assuming it would come out for Valentine's Day so I'm waiting to see when they'll launch this I know that Sol de Janeiro especially these limited edition scents they sell out very very fast so if you're interested in them it's good to like kind of be on it to be honest because we don't know if this is gonna be limited edition or if it's going to be permanent but some of the notes it says crisp pear pink violet and white cedar wood I'm very excited for that the newest one that's actually released that's like part of their permanent line uh, number 59 I've really 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 been enjoying it spoiler alert spoiler alert to that Sephora video I'm like I'm trying not to spoil everything that's gonna be in there but I really do love it so far I mean in some ways it's unremarkable but in other ways like I'm using it all the time you know it's one of those kind of scents okay continuing on we have kind of a love theme a Valentine's Day theme this one from Zara is called love explosion I'm not sure about this one I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick this one up whereas like the other two I'm like pretty sure I want to get. This one says it combines Red Temptation, which is their dupe of Baccarat, which you guys know I love Baccarat, but it also is mixing with their Rose Gourmand scent. So it has some rose and also some vanilla. So I am definitely intrigued by it. And again, sometimes with the Zara perfumes, they sell it so fast. They're at a really affordable price point as well, $35.90 for this. I feel like the fact that it's partially that Red Temptation Baccarat DNA has me excited for this one, but I was pretty burned by the vanilla line like I have a whole video on it I will leave that down below I was not feeling the vanillas and I was very excited for it because I am genuinely into vanillas like I love vanilla okay so many new perfumes from born to stand out I am intrigued by genuinely all of them like I want to smell every last one of them I mean let's get real I want to smell every new perfume that comes out even if the notes don't sound like me I'm like of course of course I want to smell it. Like, of course I want to get my little nose on it. But the Born to Stand Out ones are kind of in that middle ground of like, I want to not only smell it because of course it's a new perfume, but they are so intriguing. They just feel a little bit different. So this newest one is called Wabi Sabi. It's a Japan exclusive, I believe. And the notes in here, black currant, jasmine absolute, saffron, incense, hinoki wood, some elemi, more woods, vanilla, gray amber, white musks, 
and Ambroxan. So I'm excited for that. I love woody fragrances. You guys know that. So that seems like something I would enjoy. I do have one Born to Stand Out perfume. I have the Not Vanilla from them, which I do think smells really nice. But okay, you guys, these other perfumes, they came out with these three. These are a little bit old. So if you've smelled them, let me know what you think. Like, let me know if I need to get my nose on them like immediately. Okay, these are the three. Nanatopia. Are you kidding me? This is a banana scent. You guys, it's banana caramel. It has rum. There's there's some nutmeg and cinnamon in here, melted caramel, tonka bean, banana bread. Like I, yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds so good. So warm, so cozy. I know we're getting into spring, so I don't know. Again, I haven't smelled this. I don't know if this would be too heavy going into these warmer months that we're, thank goodness, gonna get soon, but I am intrigued. I you know, want the banana scents. I have a whole video on banana too, if you wanna check it out. Um, and I would love to have more things to enjoy with this note of banana. I feel like it's a more unique fruit note compared to the other fruits out there. So that one has me so intrigued. Then we have Happy Nuts, which this is like a pistachio inspired fragrance. So there's almond, honey, caramel, rum, vanilla, black sesame extract, guyac with tobacco, gray amber, tonka patchouli, like, Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I feel like pistachio has been a pretty trendy note. Pistachio, cherry, vanilla in general, those notes I've been seeing a lot lately or fragrances kind of inspired by specifically those notes. So I'm very intrigued to try this. I've been trying my fair share of pistachio perfumes lately. And then last year is Mad Honey. And this one looks decadent, but I will say this is the one as much as I wanna smell it. And I know it's gourmand because of honey. I don't know if I'm gonna to love it as much as the other ones. This is the one I guess out of the three I assume I would like the least because honey can be a tricky note for me. Sometimes when it's just adding sweetness to a fragrance, I love that. But if you can really smell like that animalic honey note, that really floral, sticky, kind of powdery, it has a stink to it. Honey has a stink to it. It has a stink when it comes to taste for me as well. So um, I feel like if it's really leaning that way, kind of like Ellis Brooklyn's B does, I don't know if it'll be the right one for me but the notes in here pink pepper rum honey rose bourbon vanilla tonka bean patchouli there's some good notes in there so i am excited to smell it but if i had to guess that's the one i think i'd like the least so again if you've tried any of those let me know what you think but i just think they're doing fun stuff over there like i don't know it's definitely a house i'm looking out for uh compared to their whole line too they have some just like fun names fun concepts so um those have me very excited continuing on with like the the newest of the new from the seven virtues we're getting amber vanilla which i am very excited about they have a vanilla wood scent and i know a lot of people really love vanilla woods i didn't initially love it and then i've returned to it since because you know your palette kind of expands with time and i do like the scent itself but on me for some reason the way that it smells it smells like spit it smells stinky it does not work for me okay <laughs> Unfortunately, like I do not like that on my skin. So I'm hopeful that this vanilla, amber vanilla will be the one for me. It says the fragrance family is warm, spicy, and it has amber, pink carnation, and vanilla. So it'll be interesting. I mean, with pink carnation in there, I'm assuming there's gonna be those florals. So I don't know how prominent those are gonna be. I mean, in the photo here, it's like in a bed of flowers. So I'm assuming that might come out more. We'll see. I'm excited though, nonetheless, to try it. That's probably gonna come to Sephora. And I wanted to mention too, I get all my like fragrance news from Makeup on Your Radar. She's on top of it, okay? Like, oh my gosh, if you wanna keep up with beauty news in general, Makeup on Your Radar is the account to follow on Instagram, also Trend Mood. And then sometimes I'll just like browse Fragrantica and things like that. They have like a news section. So just thought I would let you guys know where I kind of find my stuff. Okay, another new one that I'm excited for, another Gourmand. And this one's at a more inexpensive price point, which is always nice. This is from Le Monde Gourmand. And and this one is called Fraise Fuete, I want to say. I, I looked it up, okay? I looked it up. I think that's how you say this, but it is notes of fresh strawberries, soft butter, whipped sugar, vanilla creme. Like, are you kidding me? That sounds so amazing. It also seems like it might be a milky juice. They sometimes do this with a couple of their scents, which has me excited because they have this like chocolate rose one. I think their coconut scent also is milky like that. And I do tend to like those ones. So I'm hoping I will like this. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick this one up. Again, we're getting strawberries in there. I don't know if strawberries 
strawberry is the new cherry or what, but we're seeing a lot of strawberry. I mean, just in general, the marketing on this one has me. It's very decadent. It looks sweet and yummy. I really hope though the cream and the vanilla is competing with that strawberry and it's not too fruity. Cause again, sometimes the fruitiest of fruity fragrances aren't necessarily my thing, but I'm hoping since this is more like overall foodie, you know, I'm gonna like it. So we'll see. That one has me intrigued though. Another new one, you guys. I don't know if this just launched. I think it just launched from Imaginary Authors. This one's called The Language of Glaciers. This is inspired by like the Alpine mountains and snow and stuff. And I am definitely excited to smell this. Notes on here, white pine, lilac, virgin snowfall. It seems like it's gonna be cold and refreshing. And I'm very excited for this. I love the imagination, if you will, that Imaginary Authors has to their perfumes they usually go with some type of story they want to tell or place they want to like explore and experience through scent or like capture in scent I guess and I really just think that's so fun I think of perfume in a similar way or I enjoy the art of perfume for the sake of perfume not always just to smell good and like be sexy and get compliments you know what I mean so all that being said um, I'm very very excited to see a new launch from imaginary authors okay some new stuff from DS and Durga there's a new studio Studio juice called peanut and this one's inspired by peanuts I believe so it says the beauty of bold Virginia nuts ensconced in sandy soils and fields of crumbling shells now if you are getting excited because this says peanut and you're like oh my god I love peanut butter I'd love a peanut butter fragrance or a peanut fragrance I just want to like warn you like it's Diaz and Durga like they're gonna do it <laughs> how they're gonna do it so here's some notes on it top notes husks heart notes peanuts and base notes field so I really am intrigued to smell this I'm not gonna lie I think it is so fun again I love the artistry and their perfume so I'm very excited to smell this one it is a pretty limited run it's one of their like studio juices so I don't know if I will pick it up but I definitely want to smell I definitely want to smell that one besides that though Dia and Durga is also launching a candle this one's called dream lychee and it's that combination of rose and lychee that I feel like we're seeing a lot so rose water lily musk sandalwood seems super fresh maybe a little tart it's a very spring forward scent profile so I think that's like a fun launch for spring although I will say and I hate to say this actually I bought their portable Christmas tree scent in the candle I think it only comes in the candle but I bought that for the holidays the scent throw where it missing gone and you know for an expensive candle I don't know about that I had it in tight spaces and it really just didn't have the projection or throw that I was hoping it would have so just wanted to point that out <laughs> Ooh, okay, this one got me. I hope that I like it. I'm a little nervous I won't, but from Vacation, they have a new scent. This one's called After Sun. I believe just like their other vacation scent, this one is fashioned after their After Sun cream, but it has notes of aloe vera, green tea, some gin, and a resort towel. So like, you know, they're going for their whole theme. Their whole brand is so themed. If you have some extra time, don't know what to do with it. You're like, hmm, what do I do? Go to their website. They have it so to the last minute detail so on brand so themed out they have some different collaborations anyway I already ordered this perfume so again like I said I hope I like it I really love the vacation scent I feel like that is one of those summer scents that only has grown on me with time like I just think it smells like quintessential summer it's like so fun but also it still makes me feel good like I don't feel like I'm a character wearing it like I don't know some perfumes are just you know when they don't drive with you and you just feel like Hmm, am I wearing someone else's skin today? Like what's going on? It's not like that for me anyway. <laughs> I really love it and so I really hope I like this one as well. I believe these are made like through the perfume house Arquiste. I think I think that I hope I didn't just say wrong information. Okay, let's talk about some sniff stuff I'm excited to say that I now have a coupon code with sniff so you can use Lauren 10 at checkout on their website to save 10% off any of your orders So if you have any sniff fragrances and you wanted to save some money, you can use that and if you do it is affiliated So thank you so much. I appreciate it but they do have some new launches one I want to talk about this candle first this one is another strawberry scent I'm telling you strawberries are everywhere but this is chocolate covered strawberry so I'm very intrigued I am excited to try this candle I have it coming to me and I will definitely keep you updated I really really loved the half-baked pumpkin one it was so good it does this really interesting thing with a gourmand scent where it's so rich and so decadent smelling but I don't find it to be overly sweet like 
Like if you go into Bath and Body Works and you smell like the caramel pumpkin swirl, I love that scent. Okay, do not get me wrong, but it is so sweet and so rich and so decadent. But I find that the sniff candle, it gives you all the richness, it gives you all the decadence, but it pulls back just slightly on the sweetness, but it still feels so full bodied, so like engulfing. I really love it. I think it's my favorite candle from them. So anyway, I'm hoping that this strawberry chocolate one has something exciting. It's in a little bit of a different container for them. So I find that kind of interesting. Again, another perfect Valentine's Day launch. Like that's what they're doing with it. So I'm very, very hopeful I like it. Fingers crossed, it'll be interesting to smell that chocolate and strawberry combination. The other perfume, which is a little bit older, but we're gonna talk about it because Vanilla Vice, you guys, we have so much to catch up on. I know I've been a little bit behind over here, but I've still been over here buying stuff, testing stuff, so bear with me if you will. But Vanilla Vice, I bought this myself. I bought this as soon as it launched, like I was like counting down the days. And it's a really great vanilla. When I first ordered it, I didn't know what to expect. It was like showing melted ice cream, all this stuff, which had me so excited. And when it got here for some reason I just smelled a lot of like really dry woods like it was vanilla for sure but a lot of dry woods and it really reminded me of a sweeter yeah like sweeter sugary almost syrupy or like boozy version of vanilla antique from Byredo so like if you like that one and you want something that's sweeter and obviously at a way cheaper price point. I don't know, that's what I get from it. The more that I'm testing it, the more that I'm wearing it, the more that I'm like really, really falling in love with it. I like that it's not just a creamy vanilla in the way that we've smelt like a million times. So I was really surprised. It threw me off a little bit because obviously I'm still kind of like hoping or like in your head, you have this like idea of what it's gonna smell like. So once I get past that, I'm really, really feeling this. Definitely getting the cone, but also the melted ice cream, but not to me in a thick way. Like, you know how to Hoda from Indult is more like thick, creamy, churned ice cream, at least to me, that's what I get. This isn't as thick, but it still smells like an ice cream shop nonetheless. Very interesting, and I could see this resembling, if I'm trying to give you like the fragrance I think this smells similar to. I do think this kind of smells like Imaginary Authors, Whiff of a Waffle Cone, but that one to me wasn't my favorite and I definitely enjoy this a lot more than that. So again, that's like the closest I could think that also has like this ice cream shop type thing. It's like in collaboration with um, Salt and Straw and Imaginary Authors, but definitely yummy, very delicious. And as it dries down as you wear it. I feel like that kind of dry woods, whatever I get, well, I don't know what that is, kind of dies down and you're just left with like a sugary, yummy vanilla. So I'm very excited about that. I think they just do fun launches overall. So I'm very excited also to be able to have a code. I've been like buying all their stuff. I like, <laughs> Have all this stuff, you guys know I love Crumb Couture and I'm always looking out for their launches. So that's like new from Sniff. A designer perfume I'm excited to smell when it comes out. This is from Victor and Rolf. And I would say like out of all the designer houses, it's one of my favorites, which I find kind of interesting because I feel like I talk about this a lot, but Flower Bomb was not the scent for me. I was a Daisy girl. I was a Marc Jacobs Daisy girly, okay? I was not a Flower Bomb girly and they're different girls. They are. I, I think they're totally different girls, but nowadays I'm a Flower Bomb girl and as much as I have great memories with Daisy, it's not really what I'm necessarily wearing, which is so interesting. Anyway, I say all that because there is a new uh, flanker of Flower Bomb gonna come out. This one's called tiger lily the notes on this are coconut milk tiger lily and mango so we're getting something fruity which is exciting it says that it's going to be like a fresh solar kind of scent so i'm very excited i hope there's some vanilla in there as well and i have enjoyed the flankers of flower bomb too i have ruby orchid and i really like that one i actually had that one before i had flower bomb so i like that i like the other ones as well when i smell them in store so i am very intrigued by this this is one i might pick up like i'm excited for it for sure a new perfume launch i don't understand tell me if you like this jisoo hair mist it's like a honey hair perfume type thing i actually have it and i don't understand it i don't understand it it's very light again i'm not the biggest fan of honey so maybe that's why we just are a misconnection but they are coming out with a new one this is going to be wild rose so it's like the flanker essentially like the wild rose honey version of that scent if you smell 
smelled it, let me know. I haven't seen it in person. I think it's out to smell. I think it's been out a little bit. I might be wrong, but if you have smelled it, let me know what your thoughts are. Is it more of a perfume than the other one? Because I could definitely see Jisoo releasing more perfumes because perfume is so hot right now. It's popping. It's popping. You know what I mean? Like everyone is into perfume right now, which is so exciting because it gives us a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. But I will say, actually, I won't say. I will talk about it in the Sephora video. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. We have too much to cover. I can't go into every little thing. I know I've missed you too, and I will hopefully be here more often, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, continuing on with new launches. There's a new one from Parfums de Marly. This is in the men's like section, I guess. And this is Perseus. I love the name Perseus. <laughs> it really fits with all the other names, to be honest. But notes on this, bergamot, grapefruit, black currant, vetiver, ambergris, dry wood. Sounds refreshing. Sounds really nice. Honestly, like I want to smell this. I mean, since it's a part of the men's line, it's probably going to be on the more masculine side, but maybe it'll be unisex like their last scent as well. So I definitely want to get my nose on that. I think it's a really good release going into spring and summer. It has me excited. A perfume I wouldn't have known about without makeup on your radar. This one is from Queen K M chemistry, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say the name, but this fragrance is called Euphoric Dough. I mean, it's like a perfume bottle sitting on a cloud with donuts all around it. Like, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what's going on over there. This is about to launch. It might be launched when I post this video, but this is a blend of glazed donuts, powdered sugar, and vanilla bean. Are you kidding me? That sounds so good. That sounds really, really good. If you've tried anything from this brand, let me know. Um, I haven't really explored their own page, but definitely has me intrigued. I'd love to hear your thoughts if that is a brand I should check out. If you've tried anything, let me know all your thoughts, please, please, please. Something I'm so excited for. We just have sneak peeks, so I don't know what this is going to be, but we're getting some new stuff from Tree Hut. <laughs> you guys know I'm a sucker for Tree Hut stuff. I am. I love the scrubs. I want to try all of them. I love that they come out with so many fun flavors and scents. Not flavors. We're not eating it, but you know what I mean, scents. They really come out with so many different ones, and this looks like it's going to be a lot. Like, we're going to get body wash. Washes. We're gonna get scrubs. We're gonna get it feels like a lot of stuff in this collection I know they've dropped some new scrubs. I want to say through Target or Ulta. There's like a daisy one I haven't tried that one yet, um, but I really am excited It's probably gonna be spring themed is what I'm thinking So I don't know if we're gonna get any like real gourmands, maybe more fruity floral stuff We'll see but I'm, I'm gonna check it out. You know, I'm gonna check it out So very excited still for that always excited for a tree hut launch because it's also so affordable, which is always so nice. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to break the bank like some of these other fragrances where you're like, how am I supposed to buy all them? No. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some body care stuff because I love mentioning those candles, that type of stuff in these videos too. From youth to the people, they have some body care stuff. So they came out with a body cleanser. It has notes of fresh green, black pepper, cedar wood. I believe this is going to be more for like if you want that spa vibe. If you want that clean, elevated spa, aromatic, fresh, kind of green vibe smell in your shower, I think this is going to deliver it. I have one of their uh, face washes and it's a very green smelling. It smells really refreshing. I actually really like it. So I think that this is definitely a vibe and a mood and I really, I'm assuming it's pretty nice. They also have a body butter, which has notes of yuzu, green tea, and blonde woods. And they also have a body scrub, which of course I'm excited for the scrub that has ginger, black pepper, velvet woods. So the whole line I think is just really nice. I, if you've never tried like high end, I know I just said, oh, I love tree hut. I do. I think they have some fun stuff, but if you're looking for something where you're like, I don't need a million things. I don't care about all the different scents. I just want something that feels nice, feels luxurious. I'm telling you, trying out some of these brands, like the youth of the people, I haven't tried it, so I'm not like vouching for this exactly, but more just like buying a nice shower gel, a nice body scrub is a it's a great experience in the shower. I just have to say, okay, I love the way stuff, the way body scrub, you guys know, I love that whole St. Bart's line. That's like a good place to start, I feel like, but I just think it can make your shower feel so luxurious and just like a moment of true self care. And man, I'm really going off on this, but I definitely in the past, like depending on my mental health, all that stuff, sometimes showering, sometimes in the past showering, I've like 
I've just totally converted. I love showering. It's like, okay, I need a break shower. <laughs> but if you're struggling to take showers, like no shame, but sometimes those like nice little touches can be something that really um, makes the experience nice or can kind of like coax you in there. Just wanted to say that, okay? <laughs> they also have a hand soap and I really want to try the hand soap from them. I wanted to mention this candle launch from the new Savant. I really have enjoyed trying out the new Savant candles. I have quite the collection. I'm burning one back there and that one's been re-released that one's called hellbound heart but they're also restocking dream girl so i did pick this one up i haven't tried dream girl yet but it is cherries and i'm very very excited for it the new savant candles are definitely not cheap but i will say i feel like the scent throw is really there even though it's a smaller one wick candle i've been really impressed i've tried quite a few of their candles at this point and um, they always have something kind of interesting going on so I will say that like I think they're fun and imaginative but they definitely have more of like a niche quality to the sense that they produce as opposed to something from like Bath and Body Works just as a warning which I really like and I feel like that's kind of what sets them apart to me so the notes on Dream Girl there's effervescent lemon, dark cherries, ripe strawberries, <gasps> Cherry and strawberry, I'm telling you. A sparkling cola accord, rose petals, a hint of lilac, fresh tobacco, brushed leather, washed denim. This sounds like it's gonna be this sweet, kind of dense, kind of sexy, a little bit deep. It seems like it's gonna be that fruity, leathery thing. I'm very excited for it. Can't wait to burn it. I hope it will be good. I also, when I ordered this candle, I got the newest one that launched called uh, Library in a Forest, I think it is, which I had a little tea light of it when I ordered another candle from them. It came as like a sample and I did quite like that one. So I'm excited to have that as well. Although I feel like these scents maybe are gonna be a little heavy going into brighter, springier months but always looking out for the new drops on the new Savant candles. So I will keep you updated with my thoughts on those, but also in the future with new collections, you can basically assume I'm gonna pick them up. Like I'm gonna try them out. What else? I mean, there's so much. I know there's like this huge gap of products that we haven't talked about, like vanilla sex from Tom Ford. Like there's a lot, you guys, there's so much. Um, but again, we'll get there. I'd love to know from you guys, this new native collection, it's in collaboration with the Girl Scouts. So it's all the different cookies and all of that. There's body washes, there's deodorants, there's like, what else? Like hair stuff. It looks like like spray aerosol hair stuff. So if there's any anything good in here let me know I've told you guys before like native stuff I always give it a chance but I don't know there's always something a little off the sugar cookie has been the best one and that was a recommendation from you guys so thank you so much I do like that one but I tried like that strawberry laffy taffy whatever freaked me out smelled like Flintstones vitamins freaking me out in the shower okay I think I tried the eggnog one as well and like as much as I didn't like hate it I wasn't repulsed you know what I'm saying it still wasn't it necessarily so again if you have one if you're like no this one's so good like let me know or is it all just kind of a pass I mean I love the idea of this collection but I also just know my experience with native and I'm like I don't know I don't know if the scents like the actual scents are for me okay let's talk about this new Killian scent uh born to be unforgettable I just smelled it recently at Sephora like literally yesterday <laughs> and oh my gosh the reviews on Sephora are so bad like literally everyone's hating it and it's mostly because it definitely has a uh, masculine edge to it I will say I know the notes seem so exciting there's like cola there's lime it says that there's cinnamon some woody notes and I think it's just like because it has has cola in it it's like oh my gosh it's gonna be like a soda but it has like a spiciness to it and kind of I don't know when I was smelling it yesterday I was like this smells like a lime soda uh, with a guys deodorant like that's kind of the vibe of it so if you're not interested in that it might not be the one for you but definitely interesting nonetheless and anyway I'm trying not to give you all my thoughts on the new stuff from freaking <laughs> Sephora and I'm gonna do the other video. What am I doing? Okay, let's leave it off with just a few more There's a few different fragrances from Wilhelm that have come out But sparkling Joe I want to say is one of the newest ones This is inspired by the lively dance moves of Josephine Baker So it's supposed to have her party spirit in a sparkling fragrance, which is very exciting I don't know kind of a fun one some notes on here champagne bergamot and juniper in the top in the heart There's pear 
ginger and ambrette and then in the base there's musk oak wood and ambergris so i'm very excited for that also like as much as i love me those gourmands those foodie gourmands the vanillas the sweet stuff i also have that side of me that loves fresh and kind of unisex scents i love especially going into spring like i'm telling you i'm clinging to the brightness of the days i'm clinging to the sun like oh my gosh like my spirit depends on it because it kind of does <laughs> It's been a dark winter. The January blues are for real, for sure. And so anyway, this type of fragrance has me very excited. And like, it just reminds me of springtime. Definitely want to get my nose on that one. It seems like it will be just like refreshing and bubbly and maybe even a little fizzy smelling. Okay, this one from Ascada. Let me know what you guys think because Ascada fragrances, honestly, like all smell like Ascada fragrances, like your girl in Ascada, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're into fruity and florals, Ascada is the brand for you. They always come off a little showery to me so if you're into that again a scott is the brand for you but this one has a little bit of something different top lime essence middle mint oil and then there's also mariposa so that lime and mint combination definitely has me a little intrigued like will this be something a little bit different will the mint really come through i i don't know i want to smell it for sure and again if you have because i think this one's out let me know uh where it kind of stands in the rest of a scott of fragrances i have a few Escada. Again, they have their time and place. They can be a fun moment, but they kind of, you know, do a similar thing all the time to me. A newer fragrance from Mansara that has me excited. This one's called Amour Cafe, and this is inspired by Affogato. So I really love that. I think that's so fun. The notes on this are coffee, amaretto, ice cream, vanilla, brown sugar, vanilla, and ambergris. Like that sounds so good. And I know that Mansara does their perfumes like strong. Like <laughs> They are so strong. They're usually really long lasting. I like the DNA of Mansara and Montal. I I think that when you find one you really like, I think they're really great. So I definitely want to get my nose on that one for sure. It sounds really, really nice. I love that vanilla ice cream mixed with the coffee. That sounds absolutely delicious. Like I love an affogato. So I am very intrigued by that one. There is a new one from Inicio that has me very excited. And this one's called Narcotic Delight. And uh, it has notes of vanilla bean, pink pepper, cognac. I believe there's also like a cherry note. It says there's swirls of a cigar like what the heck it has me excited i will say though i love inicio's house like i think all the fragrances honestly smell so good i can only imagine this is gonna definitely have some heft to it you know what i mean like it's gonna have some weight i'm assuming it's gonna be a little sticky a little syrupy with that cherry and the cognac together um i'm excited to smell it i'm very very excited to smell it. i don't know if it'll be for me i know everyone loves cherry man cherry is such a popular note and i get it and i also don't i need to do a cherry video but but I just am like, my cherry video is probably gonna be different than everyone's because I'm just like, I have some cherry perfumes I love, but I don't feel like I have like the main ones everyone loves. So I don't know. It's been fun that so many cherry fragrances are coming out though, because I feel like it's giving me the opportunity to smell so many different ways cherry can be kind of expressed and be out there. Okay, let me talk about this last one. This is Silky Woods Elixir from Goldfield and Banks. So it is a flanker or like a, or I guess just like an extrait essentially of Silky Woods from them, which I own. This has a ton of notes in it. Vanilla, Peru balsam, Gayak wood, orris root, saffron oud, fig, fig leaf in here, musk, and broxen, like tulu balsam. Like this sounds so good. So, so good. I'm actually surprised because, I mean, there is vanilla in here, but I feel like vanilla was like the main thing Thing in the last one and this one seems so woody so I'm very very excited to try this I mean I guess the other one had like leather and other notes I don't know why I'm saying it's like only a vanilla it was like an amped up vanilla don't get me wrong but this has me very excited so I definitely want to get my nose on that see how that smells if you've smelled it let me know but I think I'm gonna end this new perfume launch video here so let me know what you want to smell let me know what you're interested in let me know any of your reviews I would love 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 to know I just feel like there's so much good stuff Stuff. I really hope the stuff that's being teased is actually good. <laughs> that's what I hope. It can be exciting and then you smell and you're like, what the heck? But hopefully not. Hopefully it's all good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're having an amazing day and um, I hope to be here a little bit more in the next few weeks. So anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I'm realizing I got so excited I didn't put earrings on. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> What's wrong with me?